exercise. So I know most of you really want to work out. You don't want to let those abs go to waste. So I thought I could put a little ab workout and leg workout ready for all of you guys with Carlos arms because those are important too. Um, so yeah, I'll try to make these a little better, but for now, enjoy these until I get to kick your butt back at the studio. So I'm gonna have everyone go ahead and lie on their backs. And then we're gonna start with my favorite, pulling both legs in towards your chest. I just came from a run, so I'm super sweaty and this always opens up my hips and relaxes my lower back. So I'm just gonna hold it there, lengthening through my tailbone as I pull my knees in a little closer towards my chest, using my biceps and still relaxing the shoulders. And then go ahead and switch to the other side. Now you guys get to judge my form too, by the way. Okay, so once we're there, we're gonna place both feet onto the floor, arms down by our sides, and then just take a big exhale to relax. So you're just lengthening through the back of the head, relaxing the fingertips, maybe wiggling them around. Maybe you're turning the palms up if your shoulders are really tight like mine. And then just using your breath to really feel where your rib cage is. So never forcing it down, but just feeling your shoulders expand away from each other. As you exhale, letting the chest drop, and then inhale, letting the ribs laterally pull to the sides. Okay, and then you're just gonna feel where your hips are now. So exhale to find that small little tuck, and then press the pubic bone away, really arch the back. Exhale, just pull in with the abs. So making sure you're really just pulling in with those lower abdominals, not squeezing the glutes, and then slowly pressing away. So just slowly mobilizing the lower back to warm it up. A couple more there. And then go ahead and find your neutral. So you're really just trying to anchor those sit bones down, exhaling the mid back down and towards the mat. And then keeping that natural curve, you're pushing that pubic bone away and pulling the navel in tighter, feeling like you have to pee. You guys know I love that cue. Hands will fold up towards the ceiling here. On your exhale, you'll slowly peel up into your curl, pressing the rib cage down, and then looking down at your pubic bone to see if it lifted in towards you. If you're here, try to push that pubic bone away, arms down by your sides, and then try to keep your rib cage pressing in as you slowly lower the head down, hands come back up. Exhale. And inhale. Okay, you're gonna go for two more. And down. And then one more peel. And then hold. Now let's go to place the hands behind the head. Interlace the fingertips. Slightly bring the elbows forward. So you never want to feel like your chin is reaching towards your knees. Your chin is reaching back towards your index fingers. And you're dropping the shoulders, really hugging the navel in. You're going to bring your right leg up into tabletop. And then bring it back down. The left leg comes into tabletop. And then bring it back down. And you'll continue to alternate side to side. Okay, really watching those hips. If you start wiggling back and forth, that's wrong. You're really <sighs> lengthening through the sit bones as the knee comes in towards you, anchoring the rib cage down just a little bit more as you go. And then we'll go for four, three, two, one more. Lift that right leg up and then pause. You'll slowly let the head come down. Make sure that sit bone stays down, not pulls in towards you. Exhale to peel back into your curl. Pull the rib cage in towards the ground. And then exhale to twist into the knee. Now when you come to center, you're lengthening the right leg away. Exhale to pull in. And then inhale to lengthen. Exhale. Keep reaching the ribs down towards the pelvis. You have four. Three, right around this point, check in with that opposite hip, make sure it's still anchored down, two. One more, reaching forward and then folding. Point the toes away from you, lift up just a little bit higher, and then drop the legs down two inches, up two inches, down two inches, up two inches here, really watching this opposite hip. So I'm gonna try to start hiking up when you drop that foot down. You have three, two, one more, hold. Bring the leg to tabletop, maybe pulse just a little bit higher, and then bring the right leg down and then slowly lower all the way back down. Inhale here, exhale, slowly peel up. Bring your left leg up into tabletop. Reach those hips away, pull the navel in, curl up a little higher, and then exhale, twist. Inhale, kick. Exhale, twist. And then inhale, kick. So when you're twisting here, I don't want to see elbows come in, I don't want to see knee come in, your armpits reaching towards your knee and then you're pushing away. 
and you have four, three, two, and one. Pressing out, holding, anchoring the opposite hip down, exhaling to peel a little higher, and then dropping the leg down two inches and up two inches. Here, picking whatever breath feels best for you to really keep the ink, um, so anchoring in as you lower and lift the leg below for two. You guys know I know how to count. One, hold, leg comes into tabletop. Bring it down, peel up just a little bit higher, and then slowly let your head fall all the way back. Hug your knees in towards your chest. Stir yourself like stew. It should feel yummy. In the other direction. And I am sweating. Feet come down. Roll your neck side to side. All right, this time we're starting with legs and tabletop. Right leg comes up, left leg comes up. Ink, find your neutral spine, and then exhale, tuck the tailbone. You're gonna try to find that imprint. On the exhale, you're peeling up into your curl, extending your leg down at high 45. Bring your legs back in, head comes back down. Find the imprint, exhale, peel. Extend, pull in, lower back into your neutral, imprint, exhale, lengthen. Now hold the legs out. Okay, we're gonna bring the left arms out towards the right and we're gonna pulse for five, four, three, two, one. Center, switch to the other side, squeeze those inner thighs and pulse for five, four, three, two, one, find center, bring your legs in, hug your knees back in, and stir yourself in one direction, and in the other direction. Okay, so right about here, you can go into like a little hamstring stretch. If you have a core pulling on there, grabbing onto your shoelaces, pulling on, holding the back of the knee, actively stretching whatever looks best for you. If you're holding a static stretch, just go ahead and hold it for like 20 seconds each side and then switch to the other if you're doing some active. Just make sure you're really lengthening through the leg, never locking the knee. Maybe you go for like 15 to 20 on each side. And then cross your right leg over your left leg. Extend your right arm out to the side. Let your legs fall towards the opposite direction. And then really make sure you're finding opposition so the ribs feel like they're pushing in the opposite leg, length of the leg, opposite direction of the legs. Okay, bracing your core to pull back to center, so not swinging the legs, actually using the core we just warmed up, lengthening to the other side, making sure that root is trying to push down. As the bottom knee, pull the top knee to the side. Great, and then we'll pull back to center. So now that we did a lot of hip flexion, I like to open up with some hip extension. So we'll place your feet about hip distance apart. Make sure your feet are pretty close together. You have a partner, maybe they can check. You don't want to stagger them as you're going to use one glute more than the other. So we're going to go ahead and find that little tuck, arms press down, and you're going to lift your hips up to your highest bridge. Really trying to find that diagonal, make it the wiggle down, I push back. So you're really trying to find those hamstrings. Your abdominals are pulling in, you're finding that scoop. You're trying to find that long line, diagonal line from the knees out to the shoulders. And then you're going to exhale, let the ribs drop down, keep pulling with the hamstrings. Feeling that articulation as you slowly imprint the entire spine, it's like a little self-massage. And then exhale, tuck. Find your hamstrings already pulling. Lengthen through the back of the legs, so maybe contract as you lengthen through the front of the legs, rather. Abs pull in, and then you're slowly rolling back down. Okay, if your head is moving up and back and forth as you come up and down, then you really need to lengthen the neck and then try to relax those pecs. You're going to hold on the next one, and then you're going to float both hands up towards the ceiling, making sure you didn't drop your hips as you lifted your arms up, keeping the pubic bone pulling in towards your belly button, okay? And then we're just going to drop one arm down, and then switch. As you alternate, you should feel your weight slightly shift to one glute more than the other, but you're still active in both sides of the um, body. Both arms up, you're pressing both arms down, lowering the hips and then coming back up. So up to you, you can articulate or you can hinge. Whichever feels best for your body, just make sure you're consistent and you're not just, no, 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 not yet. We're quarantined. It's not Valentine's Day. Okay, good. On the next one, we're gonna pause up. You're gonna bring your right leg up into tabletop. 
Make sure your hips are nice and square. And then we're gonna lower halfway, lift all the way. Lower down all the way, lift up. Halfway, up, all the way, and then up. Halfway, up, all the way, and then up. So continue. All the way, up. Right leg comes down, left leg comes up. Screw up the hips, my hips are so off. And you're gonna come down halfway, lift up all the way. All the way down, all the way up. Halfway, all the way, all the way down, and back up. Okay. So my last one was pretty bad. I just flung my hips up. You really wanna make sure it's coming from the glutes. Okay, and then we'll go for one more on this side. Hold at the very top, left foot comes down, abs pull in, and then we're gonna slowly articulate our spine all the way back down. Crossing the right leg over the left leg, pull the left leg in towards your chest. And switching sides. You can always pause me for longer breaks, by the way. You guys know I kind of hate breaks. All right, and then extending the legs out nice and long, Flex ankles towards you. You can't really see, but flexing your ankles means pose game. Pointing your toes towards your shins. Your legs are nice and long. Arms are up towards the ceiling. You're gonna let your hands fall back. Let the ribcage splay. And then exhale to just relax your body down. Head comes up. The back of the neck is long. On to the next exhale, you're gonna feel those ribs drop as you slowly roll all the way up. And then you slowly pull the navel in, slowly roll down, making sure your chin doesn't try to counterbalance. So you're really scooping as you feel the rib cage try to push back in towards the ground. And then you lower all the way back down. Up nice and tall. And then scoopy as you slowly lower down. If coming up is too hard, just roll to the side, push up, but I really do want you to try coming down so I know all of you can. Okay, next time we're gonna stop halfway. Okay, so your sacrum is down, your lower back is still off, you're scooping just a little bit more, and then we're just gonna bring the right leg up and then down, left leg up and down, curl down to the sacrum and pop right back onto the lower back. Right leg, left leg, scoop, and lift one more time. Right leg, left leg, scoop, and lift. We're gonna hold there, come up a little bit higher onto your sit bones, or the back of your sit bones, right leg comes up, left leg comes up, try to rock onto your sit bones, lengthen through the spine, and then hold your half teaser. If you can, extend those legs out, squeeze your inner thighs. If not, just keep in tabletop. Bring your right foot down, left leg down, Slowly roll all the way down. And then you're coming onto your side. Okay, so you can either stay propped here, head here, whatever you prefer. Move on up so you guys can see me. So the first thing we're gonna start with is both legs in flexion, making sure your right hip is really reaching away from your right rib. Knees are stacked, so they're the same length here. But I do want to make sure they're below the hips so you're not coming into deep flexion here. We're going to go ahead and lift the top leg up as a fire hydrant and then lower down. So just seeing if we can find that outer glute working, that might mean lifting the, leading with the foot or leading with the knee, wherever you feel most comfortable. Okay. We'll go for four. You can always add ankle weights if you have those. Three. Two, so making sure the hips are stacked here. One, hold up, and then you're gonna push the leg away, pull the leg back in, and then lower that leg back down. Up, push, feel that lengthening of the leg, pull back in, keeping the length through the spine, and then lower the foot back down. Okay, push in and down. Up, push in and out. Push in and out. You have five, four, three, 
two, one, reach it out, hold. And now internally rotate the foot, dip the feet down, lift the heel up, toes down, sorry, and then heel back up, toes down, heel up. Five, four, three, two, one. Come to the height, turn your foot to parallel, still flexing down and up, down and up. Just keeping it in a range where you always feel actively um, engaged through that right glute. Really make sure that leg's not coming forward. You want it nice and long. You have six, five, four, three, two, one more. Reach it out, hold. Now point the toes and then flex the ankle. Point the toes, flex the ankle. Point and flex. You have eight, seven, Squeezing through that glute. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Last one, keep your toes pointed. The tiniest circles, just kidding, not so tiny. Maybe like the size of an orange. Six, five, four, three. Making sure that hip is still stacked. I'm probably going back to one and reverse that tiny little circle. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold, lengthen through the leg, squeeze through the glute. You're holding for five, four, three, two, and lower. Okay. We're switching sides. So head down. Prop up wherever you feel most comfortable. Spine is nice and long. That left hip is reaching away from your right hip. Your knees are a little bit below your hip line. Okay, and then we're just gonna start with your fire hydrant, just opening and closing. Just really playing around, making sure that your hips can stay stacked, your sit bones lengthen. Yeah, you're either lifting or leading with the knee more than the heel. Ideally, you're keeping them in the same plane, but everyone's different, your tightness is different, you're just going up and down, maybe for six more. Okay, I just don't wanna see any of this. On the next, you're gonna hold up and then kick. In, down, up, kick, down, Abs are still pulling in, so there's none of this. If you're pulling it in, you're between two glass panels. Five, four. You know, I'm really excited to watch this video to see how bad I miss count. <laughs> and then one, reach it away and then hold it out. Internally rotate the foot and you're dropping all the way down and lifting as high as you can without crunching in that bottom oblique. So you're still lengthening as you push that heel back up towards the ceiling and then reach your toes back down towards the ground. Five, four, three, still trying to find that glute. My left arm's always dead. And then hold out, turn to parallel and point and flex. Point and flex, point and flex. With the point you're lengthening more through the back of the leg, as you flex, you wanna pretend like you're pushing your heel into the wall, you have four, three, two, one point, and then hold, and then orange circles. As they're pulling in, your hips are stacked. Five, four, three, two, one. Make sure the leg's not below hip height. You really want to hip height. You're still lengthening, you're pulling your abs in, and you're reversing that tiny circle. Six, five. Four, three, two, and then you're lengthening that leg away as much as you can. So feel that length, feel the bottom oblique lift, feel your abs pulling and you're lengthening for five, four, three, two, one, and then lower that leg down. Good job. All right, coming on to all fours, knees hip distance apart. 
hands shoulder distance apart, finding that neutral spine, and then exhale, rounding into your cat, scooping the lower abdominals and trying to push your hands away from the floor and drop your head to look down at your belly. Oops, maybe I can't talk on this one. And then inhale, lift up into your cow, making sure that you feel like the shoulders are reaching away from the ears if you're dragging yourself forward through sand. And then exhale to round into your cat. I'll skip these since I can't really talk when I'm doing them. Really scooping the navel, making sure the tailbone feels like it's tucking in between the legs. And then inhaling up into your cow, leading with your sternum rather than your chin. So it should never look like this, right? No floppiness. Your abs are still lengthening, your sternum is reaching, your shoulders are dragging away from the ears. And then just go for two more, exhaling as you round. And then inhaling as you extend. You should be on your last one here. All right, once you're on your last one, you're gonna tuck those toes underneath, press the hands in towards the, arm, the ground firmly, and slightly um, soften your biceps as you turn them forward, opening up your shoulder blades, lower abs kick in, and you're gonna hover those knees up, okay? So you're still in your neutral, there's none of this. Abs are pulling in, shoulders are away from the ears, you're grounding your fingertips to push away from the floor, and then you're gonna step one leg out, the other leg out, you're in your plank. Feet can go about hip distance apart, Lower arms are pulling in, you're looking straight forward, slightly tucking the chin in, making sure the neck isn't coming down or reaching too far up. Abdominals are in, and then you're just gonna go ahead and try to keep the, the, the body very steady as you tap your right hand towards your left shoulder and go into the opposite direction. So just tapping, trying to find shoulder stability here. You can see my hips are slightly slain, so I can always open my legs up a little wider to feel more successful, but you really want to try to ground down with the opposite side, as little movement as possible as you go back and forth. Two. One side is always better than the other, coming down. Okay, we're gonna hold the plank here, and then I'll bring your feet closer together, pull the abs in, lengthen through the spine here, and then very slowly start to lower yourself onto the ground, so keeping your abs engaged. At the very bottom, you're gonna reach both arms out in front of you. You know, got a splinter. Head is down. I'm not gonna put my head down all the way here. You really wanna make sure your, your pubic bone's anchoring, abs are pulling up, and then you're just gonna go ahead and lift your right arm up, left leg up, down, and then the opposite, left arm, right leg, down. And you'll continue to alternate. It doesn't have to be too high. It's just enough for you to feel the back extensors reaching. Okay, so just keep going. We're gonna go for six, keeping it even on each side. Two, one. When you're done with those, drop down onto your knees and then just go back into your child's pose. Okay, whenever you guys are ready, we're coming on to the forms now. Finding your planks again. I don't wanna see this. this well, I'm not going to see it right. I'm trusting you guys to hold the steady plank. Plank, I think I taught you well enough. Again, legs further apart from each other gives you more support. Closer together is a little harder. You're pressing your forms evenly into the ground, not one more than the other, or not elbow more than the wrist, sorry. And then we're just going to hold the plank for a few minutes. Just kidding, seconds. And then you're going to dip your knees down and then lift up. If this is too hard, your modifications will be to back up your knees and just stay on your forms so you're not feeling it, knees kind of up. Or grab a box or something and just place your forearms down. If you're still holding your plank, you're a rock star, go ahead and come down to your knees and then hold your child's pose. All right, and then you're gonna turn onto any side of the mat because I would never know. The soles of the feet are gonna come in towards each other. You're gonna hold onto your feet and you're gonna slowly just come forward to get a little butterfly stretch. Make sure you're dropping your head down because if you're keeping it up and you're just straining your neck and it's not really getting the back of the body to stretch, I just really want you to collapse down and just feel the pull of the bicep as you open up your shoulders and let your head try to reach your toes. So just feeling really wiggly there. All right. Once you finish those, let's get into some arms. So your options. Well, I guess it's oblique in arms, right? But shoulder stability. Mm. So your form is gonna come down, elbow right underneath the shoulder, 
options here, knees stacked, so you come here, or legs extended, you're coming here. All right, so up to you, whatever you're choosing, you're holding, you're lengthening through the side of the body, actively pulling up with that armpit to find the oblique. Top arm reaches up towards the ceiling. You're lengthening through the spine, and you're gonna exhale to curl underneath. Inhale to lengthen, you can even look up toward the top half. Exhale to curl. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, curl, maybe feel the hips lift this time, and then come up so it feels like a pike. All right, we'll go for three more. Ah, two. She put my hair up. And then one more. Lifting up, holding. You're long, you're tall. If you want to be brave and powerful, extend that opposite leg out. And we're just going to hold for five. You're still lifting off of that armpit four. You should start feeling that bottom ob oblique and glute. And then go ahead and carefully come down. So lean head to the other side. So while you guys get set up with your elbow right underneath your shoulder, I'm going to put my nasty sweaty hair up in a bun. And I look more like myself, right? Left forearm down, arm legs extend down in front of you. Go ahead and stack your legs. You're going to go ahead and slowly lift, find that long diagonal. Arm reaches up towards the ceiling, some squeeze through the inner thighs. And you're going to exhale to round under and lift back up. I think we did five on the other side. Okay, after your second one, you're going to really think about lifting the hips as you go underneath to try to get that piping sensation. And one more, you're reaching, lengthening, pushing off with that forearm, abs are pulling in, you're nice and long, and then if you're brave again, you're going to lift that opposite leg up, and we're just holding for five, four, three, two, one, come down. All right, last thing here, I guess I'll flip it. Um, so I just want to put it this way. Your feet are going to go hip distance apart. Arms are going to reach up towards the ceiling. On your exhale, you're going to tuck your chin down towards your chest. Keep pulling the navel in as you slowly drop the head. So you really want to feel like someone's pulling your head all the way down through your toes. Of course, you're going to do it nicer than me. I'm going to back up because we're going to start walking out into our push-ups. So imagine like you can see my hands right actually. Sorry. I'm going to do this way again. Okay, so my hands are down by my toes, and then I'm going to go ahead and walk my hands out, maybe in three steps. Oh, I made it. Okay, I kind of walk nicer than me, and then you're going to go ahead and pull those elbows back, slowly lower down all the way to the floor, and then use your abs to press that. Okay, so all the way down towards the floor here. When you come up, please don't extend up. You're pushing up, trying to come up as one straight plank. Okay, so one more time, down, all the way down. Exhale to press back up. If you can't do push-ups, totally fine. Um, your modification will be, hmm, just let me drop that. Just that, if that's okay on your back. And then you're gonna go ahead and lift your hips up. Start walk, walking back towards your feet. Drop your head really heavy. And then just scoop and then slowly peel up as you're peeling up. Make sure your feet still stay very heavy. You're not locking your knees. You're relaxing the back of the neck. That's going to be the last thing to stack up. You can do that two more times if you'd like, and that feels good for your body. Otherwise, that's all I have for you guys today. I'm going to try to plan something better next time. Let's say at least have something to keep you moving. And I miss you guys. Stay safe and hope to see you soon. Bye.